Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on DevStuff. Today I'm going to show you the easiest simple solution to how you can convert your React GS app to Android and I'm going to show you how can you, you can upload your app to Google Play Store. Now, I already published an article um, on how you can convert your uh, React GS app. This is the easiest and, uh, and simple, most simple solution I found. You can find the link in the description so you can follow along. And you know, also, you can find all the links to my socials. Don't hesitate to send me any questions to follow, to connect, and comment below this video. So, uh, you, first of all, you need, of course, an existing React app. And you need Ionic. This is how, what we're going to use. And then, of course, you need Android Studio. First of all, go to the root of your project and we have to create a file called cavisator.config.json and we have to paste this code. And of course, you have to put the name of your app here and here. See, you have to replace these with the name of your app. Secondly, we have to create another file called ionic dot config dot json and we have to paste this code and of course put the name of your app there after we created those two files we run this command npm run build that will generate the build folder for you after that that finishes we run this command npm install dot g that means globally dot at ionic slash cli that's uh, what we use to install the ionic cli after that we run this command to install capacitor after that's done we install the capacitor cli after that we run this command ionic space capacitor space add space android that will create the android folder in the root of your project and install all the required de dependencies after that that finishes we run this command npx space cap space open space android that will automatically open android studio for you and open up your project and that will take some time to update the Gradle. So if your laptop is slow like me, it's gonna take uh, a second. Then you go to the Android Studio and then you have to generate a signed bundle. So we can upload that to Google Play Store. We click on this, choose the first one um by the way guys uh so i won't forget you have to find your build gradle uh where is it this one build gradle file over here and don't forget to change these this one initially it was false and you have to set it to true so it can minify um your file and um, you know it, it doesn't take uh, a lot of size you know a big size this will minify the dependencies and resources in the app and all the file that you're gonna upload and people who's gonna who are gonna like uh, install your app from uh, Google Play Store so back to build we click on generate signed bundle slash APK we choose Android Apple bundle next now i already did this one but uh just to show you let's create a new one here you can it has to be in the android folder you have to create a folder let's call it key pass file name let's say key one since uh, key already exists all right here you can put any password you like just make sure it matches and you can use the same password here too all right uh, let's say app one two three four five 
app one two three four five and you can choose an alias uh, let's say dance app one two three four five app one two three four five and guys if I'm going uh, too fast you can slow down the video here let's say dance 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 okay And then we click on next the release make sure it's the Android path and let's hit create now it's gonna take a minute um, I'm gonna pause the video so it won't be longer and we'll go back as soon as it finishes welcome back guys uh, Android Studio finished generating the file we can locate it take you straight to the path where the file is saved now I'm gonna show you how you can upload your app to Google Play Store. You go to your uh, Google Castle dashboard, you click on create app, choose the name of your app, test, game if it's a game, free if you want it to be free, and then create app. close this we don't need it now I'm gonna uh, go straight to production uh, so we can finish with this file that Android just generated and then we'll go to the uh, other steps all right, we go to this dashboard, create a new release. And then we grab the file and drop it. This will be generated automatically. Uh, you can change these, for example, new features added. Alright, see, version 1 generated automatically. Now you're gonna get uh, a bunch of warnings and errors. These are the steps that um, we should have done initially, but I wanted to go and finish with this um, bundle that we generated once and for all. And by the way, uh, if you remember what we did earlier when we added Manify, we, we set it to true this what's the result is if you haven't done that probably this will be like uh, I don't know nine megabytes or something depends on the uh, on the size of your app now we have to go through these simple steps I won't talk much you can just follow along because uh, um, there isn't really much to explain <laughs>
properties you have to choose a category for your app guys now you can have to wait to uh, seven days maybe even more for Google to review everything you filled up and see you next time don't forget to like this video subscribe comment follow all my socials see you next time